so uh, i am very grateful to my party for giving me the opportunity to speak on this very important issues where i can raise my very important concerns in this uh, demand for grant for 2022 and 2023 road transport and highways so uh, like many of my colleagues has said that uh, this ministry is a very important ministry is because at least 1.3 lakhs of the national highways and 1.8 lakhs of uh, state highways and out of these almost uh, 60% of the total goods were been transported through the highways and 80% of the passengers has been uh, transported through the highways therefore it's very important but uh, at the same time i just want to i would like the minister also to clarify that uh, there's always been a comparison between the upa region and the present region but many of people they do not know that there's a change in the formula for calculations of the construction system from a linear linear system to a lane kilometer system for example during the upa government if a 10 kilometers road is constructed whether it is a two lane or a four lane we say 10 kilometers but in the present system if a 10 kilometers road is constructed for two lanes they say 20 kilometers for six lane they say 60 kilometers so i think it's totally wrong to compare so this is what my colleague has said that during the congress they have not done well but this is totally wrong there's a change in formula change in name in the present government is very famous in that so they should not take the credit of all those which have done rather if you see out of 388 projects which been have allotted not even half of them have been completed the nhai if you see in terms of uh, in terms of depth the nhai has got almost 3.3 lakhs depth in it at uh, almost a 63300 uh, crores per year depth it during when this government took over uh, you know even this government took over the investment from the private uh, sector was almost uh, 37% as of now is only 7% so there's a, a deficit in trust by the private government by the private parties in investment in the national highways so they don't trust this government that's why they reduced from 37% to 7% and in terms of borrowing this government when this government took over the borrowing was only 5% but as on today the borrowing is 40% so more liabilities than assets has been created by this government not only that there's a project has been delayed if you see the cost overrent almost more than 8120 crores the uh, ministry has to bear the government has to bear only because with the delay of the of delay of the projects if you look in terms of the main delays the land acquisition when the upa government was there we used to pay almost 92 lakhs per hectares per hectares for the land acquisition but in the present government they pay 3 crores 13 lakhs per hectares so there's increase of 240 uh, 240% in terms of, in the last 6 years in terms of the cost even though there are lots of delay in the project when it comes to road safety i'll be happy if the minister kindly note this in my constituency in a 200 span kilometers i'll be happy if you initiate an inquiry 200 span kilometers there are 22 check gates and i i am sure that the national highway i don't know the ministers and officials the police the state and the they must be cutting out of this i've written a letter to the minister why these check gates are there almost every 10 kilometers and some of them every 5 kilometers there's a check gate and the police are there dude who collect money from the from the people and if when i travel from here to the i used to drive personally from here from delhi to shillong i hardly see any check gates on the way but if huh? check gate or toll gate check gate sir check gates toll gates sir as per norms but toll gate when i raise a question in this house they said that these check gates are illegal how can they perform in the property of the national highway if it is illegal if the officers are not involved the comments are not involved therefore i request you to take an initiative to take an initiative to set up an inquiry so that many accidents happen today almost 1.5 lakh people are dying because of accident in my country i've seen many times accidents happens because all of these check gates 
And at night, these check-ins are no more check-ins. become a place where they can loot. I used to say it is an ATM of the people of, of the government. So therefore, I request you to have a serious note on this. And also, I want to say that if you look in terms of the, the colleagues have said about the black spots, out of uh, 3,996 uh, 3, black spots have been identified. You have almost rectified only 60% of it. In certain areas, certain areas, every constituency we have written to the ministers, uh, they have identified it. We have written a letter to the local, uh, gom to, the, to the state government to send it further to the central government for this accident to happen. But up to now, it has not been rectified. This has caused a lot of traffic jams. I have in my constituency the roads which has been uh, approved on principle by the, uh, I've got a letter from the Honorable Minister, Honorable Union Minister, that the road has been approved on principle. But I am told that the Minister has approved it, whereas the Prime Minister stalled all these programs. I have two, two uh, main very important roads. That is from Nong Stoin, it goes right up to the border of Bangladesh. And from Nong Stoin, it goes right up to Gohati to connect this road. And this road has been approved in principle, but it's been stalled by the highest, they said by the highest authority, that is the Prime Minister's office. And also another road is from National Highway, uh, from, uh, from Dekia up to Haflong, to connect Meghalaya and Haflong. And this road was approved in principle to be considered a National Highway. That also has been stalled. So I'll be happy if you can uh, at least clarify to my people why this has been stalled, whether there's a... a, a, a uh, scarcity of fund or me there's a uh, that the power of the minister has been cut off by the prime minister there's also that uh, there's also in the, uh, in the in the SRADP which has been supposed to be uh, you know sanctioned very fast but in recent meeting which we have is that the the cabinet has to take a decision in terms of expanding the fund I think uh, the, you have to make a cabinet note and they have to, now most of the projects in the north is what our colleague has said, most of the projects in this has been stalled because the, uh, whatever the commitment has given in those days has been exceeded. Therefore, the cabinet has to give, have to expand that. So if you travel, recently I traveled from Assam to Arunachal, if you see, now no work has been, there, no work has, uh, is going on because why when I asked the contractor, I stopped, I asked the contractor why, they said there's no money, there's no fund. Many like this in the North is, the name is very good, SRADP, whereas in actually on ground, they have not sanctioned any work because there's no fund. The capacity or whatever we say, that has been over. These are a few things which I would like to say. And also I would like to say that in the North is especially, in the North is especially, working is a challenge. Uh, the working is no a challenge. To do it. That's why for the cement sale to be increased, to at least on. the road has to be good. <laughs> Therefore, I request, I request the minister uh, to take note, especially on this, so that, uh, so that at least the work in the northeast can be, can be also uh, make faster. And uh, we have almost 400 kilometers along the border. So all these roads which connect between the mainland and the cities and the border, all these roads, be it in Tura, be it in, in, in uh, Dauki, all these roads, the condition is very bad. So I okay. think the fund for, for repair also, I think, is insufficient. Therefore, if you look overall, the, the marketing of the present government is very good, but in ground reality, this government has failed in, any, in everything in the world, especially in the highways. So with these words, thank you. Thank you.